Hi there and welcome to another GHacks Technology News video brought to you by GHacks.net. My name is Brian, and today's video is about a keylogger that security researchers found on HP devices running certain audio hardware. Fresh from Switzerland comes a report from security firm Mod Zero AG about a keylogger in audio drivers of certain HP devices. The keylogger is built into the driver, records all keystrokes made by users of the system, and saves them all to a log file mic.tray.log in the c colon backslash users backslash public backslash of the computer system. Note that the log file is written to the public folder, and not the user specific folder. The report raises several questions. First, why a keylogger is in the audio driver, and second, how to make sure it is not running on your HP devices. The second question is more pressing than the first. So, let's start with it and address the first question afterwards. First thing you need to know is that only HP devices appear to be affected by this. The company lists HP LeetBook, HP ProBook, HP Leet, and HP's book models on its website, and the operating systems Windows 7 and Windows 10. You can consult the full list of affected devices by following the link in the description below. Mod Zero suggests that users check whether the files C colon backslash Windows backslash system 32 backslash mic tray 64.x and C colon backslash Windows backslash system 32 backslash mic tray dot x exist, and if they do, delete or rename the executable files to stop the keylogger. Additionally, users need to check for the existence of the C colon backslash users backslash public backslash mic tray dot log file, and if it exists, delete it. Since all keystrokes are logged to the text file, it may contain sensitive information such as authentication data, credit card numbers, and personal chat messages or emails. Please note however that the file is overwritten after each login. While that is better than if it would not be overwritten, backups, file history, or other services that create copies of the file may have saved previous versions of it. If you run these, make sure you delete the information from those as well to avoid potential leaks. In short, 1. Check if C colon backslash Windows backslash system 32 backslash micray 64.x exists. If it does, delete the file, or rename it. 2. Check if C colon backslash Windows backslash system 32 backslash mic tray dot x exists. If it does, delete the file, or rename it. 3. Check if C colon backslash users backslash public backslash mic tray dot log exists. If it does, delete the file. Some background information. The executable file MicTray, in its 64-bit and or 32-bit variant, is installed with the Connexent audio driver. The program is scheduled to run right after user login, and starts to capture keystrokes as soon as it runs. Its main function is to provide functionality between key presses on the device, and certain audio driver features such as muting the microphone. Mod Zero reveals the following about the key logging component. Monitoring of keystrokes is added by implementing a low level keyboard input hook function that is installed by calling set Windows hook X. You probably wonder why the key logger was added to the driver in first place. Mod Zero has an answer for that as well. Actually, the purpose of the software is to recognize whether a special key has been pressed or released. Instead, However, the developer has introduced a number of diagnostic and debugging features to ensure that all keystrokes are either broadcasted through a debugging interface or written to a log file in a public directory on the hard drive. Users who operate affected devices need to make sure that the software is not updated. If it is updated, new versions of the key logging program will be installed on the system, and the logging begins anew. This concludes the tutorial. We hope you had a great time watching the video. If you had, we would be grateful if you liked this video. If you have any questions, 
let us know in the comment section below, or check out the original article on ghacks.net.